Hey guys, it's Sandy. So I'm going to show you how to make a homemade mouthwash. Now I've been making a mouthwash for years, but I've perfected this. Like I've got the secret ingredient now that makes it uh, like it got that bite of real mouthwash, but it also is really healthy because it does has so many good ingredients in there for your teeth. So I have started drinking a lot of tea. I love drinking herbal tea. I didn't used to, but I love it. But my teeth, uh, they suffer <laughs> because tea, coffee, pop, you know, all of that actually will make your teeth kind of a yellow. So I need something to help keep them white along with just brushing my teeth, but I need something to keep them white. This mouthwash helps with that so much. Plus it keeps um, the bacteria out of my mouth and keeps my breath fresh. So let me show you how to make it super easy. This is what I have gotten it down to that makes it perfect. And stay tuned because the secret ingredient is the very last thing that I put in. So the first thing I'm going to put in is two cups of water. I already have one cup in here. This has to be a purified water or a filtered water. Um, you can get out of your refrigerator or you can buy it in the store, but do not take it out of your tap because tap water has so many different things in it. You don't need the chlorine and the fluoride and whatever else they put in there. We don't need that. Okay, second thing we're gonna put in is salt. And salt, we're gonna do three teaspoons. Now this is a real salt. This comes from an ancient seabed in Utah. You can either buy it from the company or you can buy it straight off of Amazon, but don't use white table salt. White table salt is bleached. They took out the minerals. It is not a good salt for you at all. Real salt though, or a pink Himalayan salt or something like that, it has been around for since ancient times. It's been used for medicinal purposes. You know that if you get a sore in your mouth and you swish um, salt water around with it in it, it helps cl uh, clear it up. It's because it helps soothe and heal inflammation in your mouth. So three teaspoons of salt, a real kind of salt, something, a pink salt, a Celtic salt, a pink Himalayan salt, something like that. And then I'm going to put in three teaspoons, again, of baking soda. And the baking soda just helps get the pH in your mouth neutralized, helps reduce tooth decay. It also um, just helps with whitening teeth. Next thing, this isn't rocket science, we're going to put some rock peroxide in. You see peroxide and baking soda in toothpaste all the time. So I'm going to put in, oh, oh whew, that's spilled everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to put in my brand new bottle, one fourth of a cup, one fourth cup of hydrogen peroxide. This is a 3% solution. You don't need anything over that. It is diluted in the two cups of water. Okay, got that cleaned up. By adding the peroxide, it also has an antibacterial and antimicrobial effect in there. So it's good for multiple reasons. Let me put the lid back on that. Now we're going to add the stuff that makes it taste good. So you can use peppermint or spearmint or cinnamon. It has to be an essential oil that is a real essential oil. Do not use a fragrance oil. There's a big difference. So buy your essential oil. I buy it online. Um, just make sure that it's real essential oil and I am putting in 25 drops of peppermint. That might sound like a lot, but I like that minty taste in there. So I've got 25 drops of that. And then I'm going to put in five drops of a lemon essential oil. And the lemon essential oil is just gonna give me five. It's gonna just help with that whitening a little bit of whitening of teeth. Um, so this combination tastes really good to me also, the peppermint and the lemon. I've used um, cinnamon before, and that's a great punch also. Cinnamon is a strong essential oil. And now for the last thing in this secret ingredient that I told you about is vodka. You do not have to put this in. It is completely optional, but I'm telling you, it makes such a difference in your mouthwash because it makes it taste like real mouthwash. So conventional mouthwash, why you don't want uh, one fourth cup is what we're doing. Why you don't want to use conventional mouthwash is because of the chemicals they put in it and the um, coloring and additives, uh, sweeteners and additives they put into it. You don't need that in your mouth. You want your mouth to be healthy. So use these healthy ingredients. Vodka, for one, is an antibacterial, but it also gives that bite. So, and that's what I like in a mouthwash is to kind of have that minty freshness, but also that, that kind of bite that you get in it at the last two. So 
totally optional, but I'm telling you, it's good to clean out your um, mouth, but also it's just gives it that minty freshness there, that bite that I'm looking for. Here's my lid. Now I just use this container because it keeps it cool um, on the shelf. Get this at Walmart is all I did. Before you use it each time, you just shake it up a little bit and then just gargle in your mouth, spit it out, and you've got a healthy homemade whitening, tooth whitening um, mouthwash that's healthy for your body, healthy for your mouth. It's gonna be good for your teeth and your gums, and you're not using chemicals that way. All right, this is my recipe that I use all the time now. I just wanted to share it with you while I was making up a batch for myself. I'll put the recipe below. Until next time, I'm out.